Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Striegel. I'm the president and executive director of the Aldo Leopold Nature Center. And this week, in celebration of the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, we're going to be sharing some stories, sharing some activities, ways that you can get outside and connect to the natural world. So to start that off, I'm going to read from a Sand County Almanac. This is the copy of a Sand County Almanac that my dad gave me when I finished my degree in land resources from the University of Wisconsin, the same school that Aldo Leopold taught at. So it's special to me for both of those reasons. And I'm going to read from the essay, The Land Ethic, the community concept. All ethics so far evolved rest upon a single premise, that the individual is a member of a community of interdependent parts. His instincts prompt him to compete for his place in that community, but his ethics prompt him also to cooperate, perhaps in order that there may be a place to compete for. The land ethic simply enlarges the boundaries of the community to include the soils, waters, plants, and animals, or collectively, the land. This sounds simple. Do we not already sing our love for and obligation to the land of the free and the home of the brave? Yes, but just what and whom do we love? Certainly not the soil, which we are sending helter-skelter downriver. Certainly not the waters, which we assume have no function except to turn turbines, float barges, and carry off sewage. Certainly not the plants, of which we exterminate whole communities without batting an eye. Certainly not the animals, of which we have already extirpated many of the largest and most beautiful species. A land ethic, of course, cannot prevent the alteration, management, and use of these resources. But it does affirm their right to continued existence, and, at least in spots, their continued existence in a natural state. In short, a land ethic changes the role of Homo sapiens from conqueror of the land community to plain member and citizen of it. It implies respect for his fellow members and also respect for the community as such. So that's a little bit of the land ethic from a San Coy Almanac. Now this week, in celebration of Earth Week, I, can ho I hope that you also will go out and form your own land ethic and learn more about the natural world that we all share. Thanks.